Good afternoon, kings and queens. Good afternoon. Salute. Salute. I'm King Loke. And I'm Queen Amanda. And uh, if you know me, you know my my government name. But <laughs> I'm King Loke. So sound the trumpets and let them know that we're coming. <laughs> and remember, all of you are kings and queens as well. Yes, you are. Always remember that. Always, Always. remember that. And uh, we, I don't want to sound funny or arrogant or uh, conceited when I say King Loke or no, she says Queen no, no, Amanda. No, no, no. We're just addressing the fact that we know that we are kings and queens and you should do the same. Yes. And we address you as kings and queens just as well. Okay. Yeah. You see, I'm repping the day of. This is one. I, people show probably it, wear. Show it, baby. No, show no, 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 no. I'm talking oh, about this right here. Oh, yeah, people, yeah, yeah. People probably wonder why sometimes. Uh, I wear this shirt right here because, you know, like we told y'all before, that was a stepping stone to uh, sure was. Uh, it me was. and my wife's current situation. Uh, well, not current now, but no. back then, you know, we were still piecing our life together. We're still piecing it together. It's, it's a going, a, a ongoing process, and you all know that. And we're getting there. We're getting. There. We're getting there. We got a new job. Yes, yes. yes. We love it. Yeah, yeah. We it's always, it's what we wanted. Yeah, we always told y'all if you are in a job or in a situation where you're not happy and you dread waking up going to that specific place, then you might need to change your job. Yes, get away from change it. I mean, your surroundings, but, your situation. But one thing is, before you quit that job, make sure you have something else in line. Don't yeah. just drop it yeah. and just have to have another door open before you stop. You know. Today, uh, we're going to get more into the meat and potatoes of recovery is what I call it. Baby, we got to give a shout out to uh, little Jordan. Oh, my little baby. Yes. Yeah. Little Jordan. Little I Jordan. love you. We love you, King Jordan. You yeah. understand I me? gave him a haircut yesterday, and y'all, he was so cute. Yeah, you posted it on Facebook. I did. Too. I did. We love him. He is like, we're going to say he's like one of our little sons. Yeah, he's a... Uh, He's, he's a little king in train. Yes. What do they call it? A prince? He's a prince. But guess what? He's still a king. He reps. I got over there yesterday. He had his little shirt on and it said little king. That's so right. he's already knowing it. He already knows he's a king. That's right. But yeah, what we're wanting to talk about, we've kind of been talking about like, we're still going to talk about situations that we've been in. But we... uh. Today, we're going to kind of talk about, we've got our little textbook over here that uh, Melvin was in uh, in recovery at one time at a place called the Extension. Yeah. And they were very thorough in what they were teaching. And there, I mean, cut you off. No, go ahead, baby. Shout out. When I was yes. there, Mr. Uh, Robert Jordan, he, he, was, uh, he was in charge of that situation. That's a good man. And he always that. he always told me that uh that place was a special place, and I went there because uh, a, a, a member of my family, you know, he was there first, you know what I mean, and then uh, mm-hmm. he called me, let me know what was going on because he knew my situation at the time. This was about six years ago, six seven years ago, and uh, was it that long? Yes, it's been that long, baby. Oh. And um, I, didn't know. I went, and it is a very special place. You know, I graduated and everything. I left. I left earlier than I was supposed to, but there I did graduate. Go. You understand me? I graduated, and actually, we graduated from where we uh, met each other. Sober Living America. Sober Living America. Uh, we got the plaques to yeah, show it. We do. Yeah. I'm actually there. Hey, sis. What's happening? Hey, we baby. Love we, love we love you so much. But yes, we uh, we've been in several rehabs, you know. But at where we met was Sober Living America, and we met in DeKalb County. Yeah. Hey, matter of fact, I don't mean to cut you off. No, here. baby, look, baby, fine. sis said hello, my beautiful sister, Hello, queen her. and handsome brother King. Well, guess what, sister? You're a queen too. Queen Nicole, sound the alarm. Da 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 but, you know, I'm very proud of uh, Melvin. And y'all know you're going to address him. It's King Loke, but I, he's my Melvin. 
He's my Melvin, okay? Well, so I'm, I'm King Melvin. Well. King I got Melvin about make... five or six. Tell, show them. Show I them. got about five or six off to ego. Just show a little it. something. Pick it up show them. Get it's close now. I'm, I'm trying to get close. That's a, a bling little, right there. That's a little king charm. I'm getting understand? me a queen one, too. Yeah, we're going gonna, 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 to get a one, but that's a king. <laughs> you understand me? I'm a king. Yes. Oh, and I, I know also, I look like a thug now. I ain't shaving or nothing like that. You're not a thug. When I'm that, I'm guess what? I'm king thug. No, he's, not. he's not a thug. He's a gentleman. Yeah, I'm a gentleman. He's a gentleman. So, um, that's my thug. My gang. Anyway, baby, bro. <laughs> okay, so I'm very proud of Melvin, and I want to tell y'all. We love you too, sis. We do so much. So much. Yes, I can't wait. Blessing. We're coming to see you, girl. We're coming to see yeah, you, and I'm going to get a hold of them little grandbabies and kiss them and love them and hug them because I love babies. Get what? My sister's a blessing, y'all. I mean, we're gonna get on the yeah, subject, but we want we like talking to y'all too. Yeah. We tell y'all real things. My we'll sister, tell you about my our sister, life. my sister's a blessing. You understand me? That's, God, that's she is. that is an angel. Look, I when you do the right her. things, things happen. I Get what? Her. We we wasn't, you know, we were just sticking to our script, doing our thing. Sis blessed us. She sure Sis did. Sis blessed us. She sent some of the currency our way. She I ain't sure gonna tell did. you to disclose the amount, but yes. it was enough. It was enough to handle some and things. And it helped us. And, and we did good things. You just that. don't even know how much it helped us. Yeah, don't know. Yes, that's a blessing. And y'all get blessings when you do the right thing. And you know, in our job, that's what my not change it. Yes, and it's true. She's she's a godly. She woman. said, "I told you, brother, when you do the right thing, she's a she, you ain't do the right thing. I'm a rock with you." Yes, yeah, she, she rocked with me anyway when I was acting nutty, but it was driving her crazy. Yeah, and she didn't support none of that. Yeah. And I just, you know, I take all that back. Baby. I, know I know you she, did that because you love me. But get what, dog? Big brother doing the right thing. He now. is. He is. And we, I'm so. Proud of him, and I'm proud y'all. of my baby too because she does things way different than she used to. Even you know, when we before, first met, yeah. when we were in recovery, and I was still going through and my we were still learning. We're still learning each other and, and the process, and the process, and the way we needed to live. And yes, like I said, it's still an ongoing process. It is, but we got it. But it's this married, this married it. life to a G. Oh my God, Laundry. it's wonderful, beautiful, it. and all I, that. I never take it off. It is a pro- a learning process. I'm still learning this woman. This woman, this woman. Man, let me tell you something. Like I told y'all in my thing. Stephanie just said something. Thank you. Thank hey, you, Steph, 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 Steph. Stephanie you. Gentry. Thank you. Thank but look, you. look, I told y'all in my one segment, Eve. Eve brought so much craziness to y'all women. And, you know, women, 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 I appreciate y'all so much more. Than I already did, you know, because of my mama got her so and yes, my sis God and things like so. that, yes. and, and and my uh, and, and, and my and my mom Terry, understand me? Yeah. I I we appreciate I appreciate y'all more than I did then because I didn't fully understand that y'all go through a lot of things that men will never understand. And <laughs> he look, learned that man, with me. <laughs> listen, listen, to me, listen to me, man. Don't even try. Just I mean I mean try to try try. I'll take that back. Try to understand, but don't. If you can't really understand it, just at least try to, just because try. it's going to be some things you will never understand. I tried to understand all of it, but I'll never get it because it, sometimes baby be like she flipped like a damn flapjack. I don't go crazy or anything like that. I just have Pancake. my time. Like you know mom. how we feel. You know how Angel Mama be wearing that bandana on her head when she be in the ladies. Kitchen? I'm forty years old, so I am going baby through some different like things. Angel Mama I mean, pancake. One minute she's talking about lovey, 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 then she's talking about I'm gonna kill you. No, I never tell you that. Mm, I do something. No, he's lying about that now. You better take it back right now. I'll take it back. Okay, because I love you. I know you, but she will. I do channel my ass. Okay, anyway, whatever. Yeah. Okay, so what yeah, I want to just tell them something. Yes. So, y'all, um, this is segment is going to be a little longer than the other ones because I have a little bit, we have a little bit to cover here. Yeah, we do. And so this is called what? Step one? This is, we're we're going to go through all the steps with y'all because, like I said, this is a recovery support system. We're not a program, we're just people. That's been through situations yes. that maybe y'all can relate to them. Yes, we have. People gonna do what they do. We understand that. But if you're doing something that's killing you, you need to stop. If it's prolonging it's your success in life, you need to stop. Those gonna come off, baby. Okay, well, I'm well, gonna my show. baby wanna show y'all something because I had this for a long time just to prove it. It means that. a lot to okay, me. Here. This means hold, I we gotta have, hold, we gotta well, hold wait a minute, up. let me explain something. Oh, first. Explain because it, because, okay, so I'm very proud of Melvin and uh, let me explain why. 
Uh, yes, he has come a very long way. And so have you, baby. I know. I yeah, have. you tell them that I have, but I, I need them to know that you have too. Oh, they're and they can that. they can see it because yeah. we're, we're somewhere where she used to, you know, where she's from and where they see yes. her go from rock yeah. bottom and and come back and come back up. Come so back. So they see it. I guess that's why. That baby shows that. Yeah, you, I, I, we, we, we do the thing. You know what? You don't have to tell people I'm doing the right thing. You know why? Because they can see. Because I'm gonna tell you something. They can see it. Yeah. I mean, they can yeah. see and it. And I they appreciate can... y'all for giving my baby props when y'all see her. Thank let her know she's you. doing a God good bless, thing. Because that motivates me. Yeah. It makes me want to just keep doing better. Right. You know. But I, I wanted try, that for her. I try. I to, needed that. For right. Her. I try to be a better person than I was. This is a serious. This a lot that y'all have heard a lot of people say this, uh, and it might just be a saying for some people, but this is true for me. I try to be a better person every day. If I do something one day, I try to do something the next day a little better to help people, not just to make, not for props for me, but to help people and show them, hey, you know, there's somebody out here that cares about me. Or there's somebody out there that's changed. I seen her six, seven years ago and she was sick. But now look at her. She's she's happy. She's glowing. She's drug free. Drug free is the main thing. But really happiness and uh, knowing that you want to be better than you were the day before. You know, Always and you try. you accomplish that. And I do that. Don't know, baby. I try. Yes, I, try. Try. I try. I try. But, so Melvin here, my husband, King Melvin. He uh, when I first met him, he was very withdrawn. We were both first in recovery there. You know, he had been to the extension and stuff, but I think you had gotten out and relapsed maybe. Right, maybe. Did yeah, you yeah. But he got back into recovery. You know what I'm saying? He, he believed in himself enough to get back to into recovery mm -hmm. and get himself better. And, that you was know, like seven years ago. And what really hurt, you know. I mean, Six, seven yeah, years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he, you see these. These are not mine. These are his. But turn it where they can see it, baby. I love them. I love them. Okay, that's his accomplishments in recovery. You see and that? People that's in recovery, y'all know what these are. Y'all know these what are, that means. These are chips that you get when you pass and graduate. So much time. So much time of being sober. Yes. Look at all these. Yes. All these represents months, years. I, like and that. I'm very proud. Alcoholic of you. Anonymous. Uh, NA. NA. Uh, NA. Uh, anonymous. Um, right here I got says, an alcoholic and our clean. Product. Clean and serene for 60 days. Yeah, got 60 60 days. days. They, they tell you uh, what's going on. With he's got he's got a lot. He's got a lot of, of uh, little chips here. And, that, and they all equal up. And it makes I mean? me so happy because I didn't know he even had these really. Till this morning I got this book out and I was like, Let me matter of fact, let me show y'all the book. The book, yes. This is the book. This is Melvin's book. But this is Melvin's our book. This is our book. But this okay, is what look. he that's what he This is Kings and Queens. All this stuff right here. This is what we're going to be sharing with y'all. These are the steps. This is the way to live. This is the way to a better living. This is what happens when you relapse. This is what happens when you get back. Da, 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 da. Yes, baby. That's right. That's Kings right. and queens, baby. Yes. You understand this, me? This is our This is all real stuff. We, you know, we told y'all we don't, we don't write shit nothing down, videos, but these are stuff we went about. through and we don't write our program down. We no, just we don't. Pick a topic out now, of the big book. We're going to call this the big book. Yeah, but right now, this is, I, I was looking at this this morning, and I was like, wow. The big book to sobriety. We, we've talked about our life experiences, a lot of them, but we still go and fill it all in on some stuff. Yeah. But I, I want, back to that page. right here, okay. I want to work through this book right here with y'all. And I want to, anybody that's in addiction, please watch and please listen, because this is very, um, this is this, this is your, this is sort of your second Bible to getting well okay this is not the bible but this is our well our second one oh, yeah. and then it, you take it upon yourself look this is something like this you take it upon yourself to rock with us the way we rock right, you know what I'm saying? Right, maybe it can right, be your right. your because it's it is it's, it's the way we live in you know it is of course the big book is first that's right. The yeah. Bible. Yeah, the Bible. This is the sobriety Bible. Yeah. And I got all yes. the questions and answers and I was, in this book. I was going through his little book, and I was looking at his stuff, and it just touched me this morning. I about cried. Yeah, so, you know I had that. No, I, I did. you ask my sister, though, it I'm is a, beautiful. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a, like a pack rat. I keep everything. And I'm so proud that you kept this, because 
God knew that one day that you would really be with someone and become one with them, and y'all could live live this life. That's right. You know? So, okay, um, I'm going to talk about step one for a minute. Step one, it says, now this is the 12 steps. I don't know if any, I, I'm sure a lot of y'all are familiar with the 12 steps, okay? Every program that him and I have been in has been a 12-step program. So first, we're going to talk about step one. We admitted we were powerless over alcohol and drugs and that our lives had become unmanageable. Yes. And manageable. <laughs> yes, Nicole. Look, yeah, yeah, I, I can't I'm so know. proud of this book, though, Nicole. I am so proud of it. You, you never just look like it. I wish you could look in it. What you tucked away. Yeah, I wish you could look in it, Nicole. He has some very hard I couldn't live with sis and be a hoarder because sis get rid of it. She wasn't with that. Like me. I like I throw stuff listen, away. Oh, listen, baby, listen. I'm going to cut you off. If you did not eat or drink, what you took some of yeah. and put that back in the refrigerator, yeah. if it wasn't gone within was a few the, hours or yeah, a day, whenever sis had that time frame going on, yeah. boy, it'd be gone. Yeah. Well, I, I should have I should have meals. That's, oh, clean, that's clean. I like come this. in there, I'm like, damn, sis, what happened? Oh, I threw that away. It wasn't that. No, nobody was okay. Nicole, that's OCD I to the bullets. Sis ain't playing. Well, that's okay. Sis ain't playing. Okay. Boy, if you have a steak in that pan or some, uh, or some sea legs or some shrimp or something like that, and, and you couldn't eat them all. You better take them with you. You better put them in your pocket. You better wrap them up. You better put, put them in, somewhere. Put them in, you put put them in your pocket somewhere. and take them with you. Because partner, when you come back, they're going to be gone. That's they're right, going to be gone. Go. She'll be right. like, oh, look. Then tell you, look, she'll throw it in the trash. Uh, You're not knowing that your food or whatever in the trash. Then tell you to take out your trash. Oh, the trash, God. your food. Your, you don't even know your shrimp, your crab legs, and your uh, wham is well, in there. Well, and you throwing away your had oh, home train. I'm like, sis, how, guys, how I said, sis, you did not make me just throw away that steak. Yeah, well, it's okay. But. Cleanliness okay. is your next God, to God. Yes. Your okay. yes, it is. So, um. Okay, so we admitted we were powerless over alcohol or drugs and that our life had become unmanageable. Okay, we're going to talk um, about this. It says, remember that we deal with drugs. Cunning, baffling, powerful. Without help, it is too much for us. And it is. Um, I can remember whenever I first started using drugs, and I thought, oh, I'm just gonna do this one more, do this one more time and see how it makes me feel. And uh, and and the drug, this is the drug talking to me, okay? Cunning, baffling, and backwardful, okay? The drug was telling me, oh, try me one time, just try me one time. Let's just see, you know, how how I make you feel. And uh, you don't have to do it again if you don't want to. But guess what? They're powerful. It's power. That's the power in the drug. Without help, it's too much for us, okay? So I tried the drug, and the first time that I tried that drug, guess what happened? Hook, line, and sinker. I was addicted. Hook, line, and sinker. Okay, so started just continuing. This was after the death of my father. It's another thing I want to talk about. We can't use crutches. Can't use crutches, y'all. That's another episode. I know, but I still want to tell them. Tell them. You know, it's something in my conversation I need, they feel like they need to hear. Can you hear you it, know? Spit it out, baby. You know, I used the crutch of my father. Can't use crutches. But I did it because it was an excuse for me to get high. That was just an excuse. Right. You know? So then uh, I tried it again. I did it again. Don't try it again. I did it again. By the second time, it had me. It had me. Um, so, you know, probably about a month went by, and I was just out there. I was gone. I was gone on it. But I knew then that my life had become unmanageable. I mean, it was over with. My children were at my mother's. I was running around, acting crazy. Uh, I had a brand new car. I trashed it. Trashed it. Uh, I was cutting hair at the time, and I was cutting hair at the time. I, you know, went to Northwestern Tech, medical college, got my hair, you know, license, and I was cutting hair. I had a good, good business going on, you know, but with that power of that drug, that cunning, pow powerful drug had a hold of me. I didn't work no more. 
I was running from house to house getting high, you know. Um, and on down the line, after I got caught by the police, and uh, I stayed in jail for a while. And then I went to a rehab, and I started learning about these steps. I've been to a few rehabs before. You know, God got a hold of me and uh, said, no more rehabs, prison, or death. So, um, yeah, the I remember when I first really surrendered, and I, I admitted that I was powerless over the drug. And uh, I stayed in rehab for six months, stayed in jail for about six months then i stayed in rehab for six months but yeah so in jail I'd, i hadn't i hadn't admitted it yet i was all i was thinking about was getting out and getting high again in jail because there was no body in there actually educating me on recovery you know what i'm saying i was in there with other addicts other people you know that was using so when i got there i remember when i first surrendered you know and uh, it was a beautiful feeling. And I stayed clean for a while. But then I relapsed again. You know why I relapsed when I got out? Because I wasn't going by these steps. I wasn't following the steps. I wasn't reading my literature I needed to read and understand what was going on with me. Because it, I, I still, I had admitted I was powerless, but I didn't read the material and listen to my counselor and listen to the other girls in, my, in the rehab I was in. It didn't go through my thick head that this was going to destroy my life. So if you are an addict today, if you're using, please listen to what I just said, okay? Read that one part. Just that first part. We admitted we were powerless over alcohol and drugs and that our lives has become unmanageable. And what are we going to do to fix it? What are we going to do to fix That's it? That's the first step. Mm -hmm. That's the first step. Yep. So, and uh, I just wanted, I just wanted to share that with y'all. And I want, I want uh, my baby to let let y'all know about his experience. Well, with the first step, I'm gonna make it quick because it doesn't matter. We got, yeah, know. we got time, but yes. still, I'm gonna make it quick and fast, simple. I got on it because I was very young, and um, I think I was about 15. 16. God, that was young, baby. Maybe even 14 when I tried wow. maybe drinking, but you know, I'm a boy. I was a little, little boy, so we mm -hmm. move we girls move fast, little girls move faster than little boys, but in this case, uh I was moving fast too. I was right there with them because I was around a lot of women. Yeah, my mom's my mom was gangster, God rest her soul. That's most gangstest woman I ever met, and mm -hmm. she showed me and put me up on a lot of things, and so I, that's why I was with that fast pace. But um, I just started it because people I was around was doing it, and I thought it was cool. And then next thing I knew, I wanted it. I was addicted to it. Mm -hmm. You know, I was dipping and dabbing, but I became an addict and didn't even know I was becoming an addict. I just know that it was a thing to do. The people I was around was doing it, so why wouldn't I do? It? And that, that's become because, you know, I was still a kid and um, trying to follow people. And I had to learn uh, real quick that following is not the, not the solution. It's not the answer. I'm a leader, you know, but I didn't know anything about that until it was too late. Like I said, before, by that time, I was already doing what I do. So that first step... Uh, that first step is very important that you admit and know and realize that your life was unmanageable. Mine became unmanageable because I was bouncing around, wasn't stable, didn't have no stability. Just whenever things got crazy for me, I just go to the next spot, do the same thing, and repeat the cycle. Mm -hmm. So then, that's when it became very unmanageable because it, it, it was it, it had no concrete, no concrete stability that I needed. So whenever you're not stable in whatever you're doing, it's going to be problems. Mm. It's going to be problems because, you you know, you got to hold just hold your ground. You got to be firm. You can't do that if you're not if you're not stable. And mine is other places. And I went other places. I have been somewhere everywhere because the drugs took me there, whether it be another state, city, town, wherever, wherever mm. it was, wherever I needed to go to make myself think I was feeling uh, better or gonna do better, knowing I was gonna do the same things just in a different place. 
that's that gets old and when you realize that you change that so i was lucky yeah. to i was lucky to you know it took a while like it may take other people you know but you know that's over with so that was that first step now when we do i told you we're gonna do all the steps and my baby just did the first one so when we come back around to do the second step i'm gonna uh put more emphasis on that we're just gonna go back and forth however we're feeling but i think she did a wonderful job baby you did a wonderful job thank on the first you step. so i'm gonna need y'all to concentrate on that first step at, at step admit that you know admit it and just know that the, own own it the drugs and alcohol has your life in shambles admit that when you admit that you know that that's what's going on believe me everything else will start falling in place and that's just the first step and then yeah. when you get to the 12th step you do all that over again yes right. baby, that's right just smart hey my baby's smart too yeah um i wanted or you would you want to say something no i want to say thank you to everybody uh yes thank yes, you. yes 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 thank yes admit and quit hey yes surrender admit and quit that's why that's why yes, surrender sis, surrender my sister nicole my sister nicole is very smart she's very intelligent very yeah, intelligent y'all both are so, y'all y'all were y'all were very intelligent well, I people think, and I, I love that about i think she would get mad at me uh because i wasn't showing how smart i was when i was acting stupid sometimes yeah I'm sure but sometimes <laughs> but look we are blessed and we are uh, like we got a new like a, like we just said um we got a new job and we're figuring we're learning our schedule when we uh we'll be coming at you every chance we get when yes. we ain't at work and yes. we you know what I'm saying? we can move we around yeah. so this is a new thing you know but we will still and continue this channel no matter what we're going through no matter what time it is we got things going on we will always make time that we know we need to do it like that's why we're here right now and don't get discouraged about oh, anything if y'all don't hear from us about sis go ahead i'm sorry if, i just seen you, uh, a friend of mine and it, it touched my heart if so. you uh if, if, don't get discouraged if y'all don't hear from us you know when in, in a couple of days and things like that a couple of days at a time just know we grinding to the, uh, a stronger path that we we are wishing that and hoping that y'all are doing the same you know yes. like i said we work you know so we got to fix this around our work schedule you know and our life that we have yes, you know which is yes. we're, we're on a, a prosperous and a good uh uh, 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 we're on a happy uh, trail. Uh, we're on a good. We're, we're I call good it place. the happy trail. Okay, well we on that, and we <laughs> we building it as we go along. But this channel will always be here. When we say we're gonna get on, and we talk to each other like, "Baby, we need to get on this." Da, da, da. That's what we're gonna do. And when we're not on, just know that we're either grinding, <laughs> oh, I love or you, we're grinding, or we're resting. But we're never forgetting this channel or forgetting y'all. Oh, no, we we're need y'all. We need y'all. And we're hoping y'all need us. We're each other's support system. That's what we're here for. Yes. But um, well, I love you, sis. I love you, Nicole. And, yes, uh, and my wife is a blessing. She is. I love you. You're a blessing to uh, me. You and, already and, know and what you need. I, I needed somebody to uh, be able to withstand and rock with me because I know I'm. I, I, <laughs> I'm 51. 50. No, he's actually getting very better. Get very better. He's said, actually getting. It's because like he's changing. It's amazing. He's turning into something else. It's she wonderful. got me. She got me on go He's wonderful anyway. But well, baby, sometimes listen. Sometimes in life, people need medication oh, yeah. well, from if, if, the doctor. If you're to getting help your prescription them. drugs, and you know that those drugs are what you need to succeed. If the doctor and, gives and prolong your life and yes. get you back, get you right, and well, try to no get you right, then take those. Of course, of course. That's what the doctor said. Yes, yes. But I, I just I wanted to reach out to to a person uh, here. Uh, I just seen. Let me look right here. Um, Stephanie, 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 Stephanie. I love you. She she said she couldn't watch the whole thing. She must have something to do. She said to be good to her play. He's oh wonderful. yeah, oh He's yeah. He's wonderful, Stephanie. Uh, when you do watch this, I love you. I miss you, and I love your little daughter. And that grandbaby is beautiful. And Nicole, you are a goddess. 
I love you. Yes, she is. Yes, she is. I love her. As a matter of fact, I want to say what's up to my family out there, where my nieces, nephews, yes, Lord, my cousins out there. And, and uh, I'm coming out there to see the North babies. Carolina. Yeah, Jacksonville, North Carolina. I love all y'all. Yeah. Uh, I love all y'all in Cali, too. Uh, you know what it is, Santa yeah. Ana uh, and things like that. And that's how we do. Yep. And I also wanted to say before we end this, uh -huh. okay. You see this necklace right here? I don't know if I can see it real good or not, but it has angel wings. You see it? Angel wings on it. And this is something I had. Uh, I had a cousin. Her name was Shannon Nixon. God rest her soul. God rest her soul. And she passed away at 36. And uh, it really, it it really took a toll. On me for a minute, didn't it, baby? Yeah, it did. It uh, it had my baby going through it. Yeah, you know, this, I love my baby, so yeah. I was going through it. With yeah, her. but this is a this is a heart in remembrance of her, in remembrance of her. Her mother gave me. It's got angel wings on it, and it's it's got her favorite color pink in there. She loved aqua blue duck too, but uh, this this represents her. So I just wanted to show y'all that, and and uh, her baby is is little Jordan. You know that we're talking about. And uh, I'm so glad to be sober today and feel good. And I can actually love love him like I need to love him. You know what I'm saying? And and he loves Melvin, too. Ooh, he loves Melvin. Actually, if y'all uh, keep up with us on Facebook, y'all see the little the little boy that we took to Chuck E. Cheese. That's yes, Jordan. Yes, and he loves Melvin. And we're going back to Chuck E. Cheese probably next week. Next weekend or next weekend. Yeah. But, y'all, we love y'all. We'll film it let y'all see it. Yeah, he's going to be on here. But we love y'all so much. Thank y'all for tuning in. Uh, the next video will be on step two. We'll get into step two a little bit. We're going to go all the way to step yeah, 12 with y'all yeah, because we feel like we needed to get into that. Yeah, you so know? marinate on step one. Yes. We love y'all. Is there anything else you need to say? Um, Remember? Your life is a movie. You're the author. So make it a blockbuster. Until then, kings and queens, salute. We love y'all. Thank y'all so, so much for watching.